So Sweet has now turned one years old, and honestly, what a wild ride it has been. And the best part is, I help make Sui. No, honestly though, like it is pretty crazy though, because when I've been looking back at when I actually started with Sui, it was actually only one month after the mainnet launch, which honestly, I thought it was like three months. So I've actually been a lot earlier than I thought. And honestly, I couldn't be more blessed. Wait, what the, what the heck is that? Is someone watching me? Oh yeah, it's Trevin vlog time. Woo! But yeah, today marks one year for Sweet on Mainnet, which honestly is crazy to even think about. And I still can't believe you guys finally get to see my full setup. So yeah, this is uh, Trevin versus NFT in real life. So I really hope that you guys have been enjoying the vlog style. Honestly, it's been like super fun for me. I really honestly miss how much vlogging has honestly like kind of sparked my interest again. I used to do actually quite a bit of vlogging back, way back in the day when I worked at Starbucks and uh, it just feels like home. But yes, in this video, I will be ranking the top 10 amazing things Sweet has done in the last year. But first, let's go on an adventure. Okay, so it is currently like 86 degrees here in uh, Knoxville. So uh, yeah, they used to call me Casper the Ghost because I got burnt so easily in high school. But in this video, just like I said, we'll do the top 10 things I love about Sui in the past year. So starting it off, uh, first one is actually pretty crazy. I wanna have some fun, but also bring in some cool stats for people that just haven't been around since the early days. So first one is, um, the, the crazy part is, oh my gosh, I literally just had this. So Sui surpassed Bitcoin with 928 million transactions in under seven months. Honestly, that just shows you how early on Sui was and how they're able to handle crazy transactions and basically not have a sweat. Just like I, we, we said before, the scalability is there. And the best part is transactions are not capped. There's no TPS cap. So honestly, we could throw everything we have at it and shouldn't crash Sui at all. And even Evan, the co-owner of Sui, said the same thing. So honestly, I think that's like really cool. And then we'll move on to um, number two, which I'm probably going to get outside because I am cooking in here. So honestly, I'll probably get burnt out here. I'll try to go into a shade a little bit. There's a little bit of shade behind this little tree. Oh my gosh, so much better. But to have number two is questing. So they haven't done Quest 4 yet, which honestly, I'm really excited once that does drop. But the best part is we had one, two, three, three point five, and Quest 3 brought in over 800,000 wallets participating and honestly just trying out the ecosystem. So if you guys don't know what questing is, questing basically was something to show people what's actually happening in the ecosystem. So it could be anywhere from playing games on Sui to DeFi to seeing what NFT collections and also just understanding what cool DApps there are, for example, like Tradeport or gaming platforms that are on Sui Network that you just didn't know about. It was actually a great way to grow the whole ecosystem and also ties back into Sui Friends, which honestly, I love that collection and I highly recommend picking one up if you haven't yet on Tradeport. Okay, so moving on to number three, I'm gonna get into a little bit of sun and probably get burnt because I burn and I feel like 30 seconds. Sometimes I feel like I'm a vampire, not gonna lie. But for number three, I think a lot of people would agree with me on this is basically ZK send and zk login but we'll actually kind of just talk about zk login first so if you guys don't already know what zk login is it's basically an application where you can create a wallet with only your google account facebook or twitch and this is honestly game changer because you're able to really onboard the masses with one simple click instead of having them worry about a 12 to 24 seed phrase 
which is never an easy thing to onboard people with. So then for number four is ZK Send. So this is actually really cool. So you're able to actually send SWE and other tokens on ZK Send that are part of the SUI network. And you can send to people without them having a login or a wallet. And it's just as easy. You literally just send a link to someone, they open it, they create a wallet in that, and boom, they have their SUI, their FUD, or whatever else they want. And so that brings me to top five, or number five, is FUD. FUD basically dropped and has been the community coin of SWE ever since. And the best part is I was actually able to join them as a core contributor. So I'll be helping them on mainly the space side, content creation, and also streaming some fun games that are integrated with FUD on the SWE network. And honestly, it's pretty crazy. I believe we reached around 35 mil market cap. It is back to around, I think 13 mil so far, but the journey of FUD has been honestly insane. Their airdrop that they first started with honestly really helped boost the community and it got the whole SWE network buzzing. People love a meme coin and it doesn't even matter what chain you're on, but SWE to have a strong meme coin. And the best part is we were actually able to have a costume of FUD the Pug at SWE base camp. And for number six, I would say probably my favorite thing about SWE in under the last year is bringing on Team Liquid. So the crazy part is, what got me very bullish on SWE early on was, I heard that gaming and esports was gonna be a major competitor, oh my gosh, I can't even talk. A major competitor in the gaming scene to bring more people to blockchain gaming. And you wanna know who I heard that from? Adeny over in DMs early on. That's probably been also my favorite part about the SWE network is how Adeny has been so vocal with the community to really reach out to anyone that was bullish on SWE early on and still to this day. He interacts with small accounts, he interacts with big accounts, and it's really cool to see a founder like him interact with the community so much because it really does help build trust and it does show that he cares about the community. But going back to Team Liquid, they're actually building a full-on fandom application on SWE to show their community that SWE is a great place to be and Web3 shouldn't be something you're scared of. So I would say probably for number seven would really just be the partnership with Google we just had or Google Cloud. Um, honestly, also I've been trying to, you know, like spice up my wardrobe. These kind of look like towel pants, but they're comfy. So that's like super cool. But the best part is this is really gonna help on the security side along with scalability and honestly just makes we even more scalable than it already is and also make tooling for the devs and just UI even easier and cleaner. And if you guys don't already know, SWE, in my opinion, probably has one of the cleanest UIs with all their D apps and everything else they push because they want high quality, but then also simplicity. And honestly, that's why I'm really excited for this Google Cloud partnership. And this is a big deal. And it'll actually really just keep pushing SWE further and further on to show people we're actually trying to work with everyone we can and onboard everyone that wants to be onboarded. I'm so thankful for like shade cause holy schmuckets, I don't know if I could handle all this sun. It's great, I like the sun, but <sighs> man, if I didn't have to see the sun and I could just be in shade all day, dude, I'd be chilling. But that brings me to number eight is basically Exo Society or Society. I think it's how you say their name, uh, which is a pop shooter RPG. And honestly, this game looks so much fun. And I really think that game overall can bring on so many new gamers that just want to fun, just want to play a fun filled game. And all the gameplay and everything I've seen can really push Swede to the limits and show people that actually there isn't really a big difference between Web 2 and Web 3, but gaming on SWE will be the next big thing. 
And for number nine, obviously I hope this is a given and pretty obvious, but sweet base camp. Honestly, I think it's pretty impressive for a blockchain to be under one year old, get so much hype, get so much excitement, and to have their own two day conference talking about the future of what they're looking forward into the next couple of years and what they've already accomplished. It really just shows you the full dedication of how much has been poured and really thought about what the Sweet Network can be. And honestly, I'm not complaining at all because I'm thankful to be on a young chain that wants to strive to innovate and change the future for the better. And Sweet Base Camp really succeeded with that. We were able to be shown the Sweet Play 0x one which is basically going to take the world by storm in my opinion and if you guys don't already know what it is it's a gaming console that you have in your hand and you're able to play games on steam or web 2 for example and web 3 games and honestly just game and probably my favorite thing about that is just saying it's gaming instead of web 2 versus web 3 and that was another great point that Annie brought up when talking about the Sui Play 0x1. And to be honest, I am so excited to get my hands on this. But it really just shows you that they had over a thousand attendees that are bullish and excited to see what's being built on Sui. And the coolest thing ever, actually, they were able to do an internet-less transaction at the conference. And it is possible, and I have never heard that ever done before so these are exciting times on Sui and I'm so happy to be a part of this crazy journey early on and being able to attend Sui base camp and actually meet everyone in person so this brings me to my top 10 point or number 10 is the Sui community so honestly the Sui community has really set itself apart with really encouraging people oh my gosh my sunglasses <gasps> really just encouraging people and actually helping people out when they need help. I feel like that's kind of hard to find sometimes in Web3. And that's where I'm very happy to be a part of a young, hungry blockchain, but then also has a fantastic community. Because at the end of the day, the community is what drives more people. And at SWE, that's there. It felt so rewarding basically going to base camp and meeting everybody that I've been talking to on Telegram, Discord, like Twitter or X. And the journey has been great. It was great actually meeting people saying, oh my gosh, are you trend versus the NFT? And it just oh, is so exciting because I've been putting a lot of time and work into video content. And yeah, I started in June with Sui and here I am now, one year later basically, or 11 months, and I'm loving it ever since. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was actually a lot of fun to do. I was trying to find like the best spot to record this video <laughs> that I could survive with the sun. But uh, yeah, I found some shade and I'm pretty happy. So that is that. And I hope you guys enjoyed my top 10 things I love about Sui, Sui, in the past year. But don't worry, because I will see you in Web3.